Good morning, everyone. We are about to begin the Holy Eucharist. Please uh, bring yourself into the presence of God, wherever you are, and take this time to pray and, uh, and come together to be connected with God and to our brothers and sisters who are going to join us on this uh, holy with the Holy Eucharist. So uh, please um, bring yourselves into the presence of God. Avoid all the distractions, turn off the TV and other distractions and bring yourself in the presence of God.
Today we celebrate this Holy Eucharist for Sebastian Navarro and Maria Luis de la. And we have lots of people that we need to pray in a special way who are being affected by this uh, uh, COVID-19 virus. Monsignor Joseph Curry from our diocese and uh, and also all the vocations fathers and brothers who have been affected. Then we have Stephanie Nathanson, Maida Barcella, Elena Amara, Mary Herstick, Dawn Churchill, Irma and Penn Dumapit, Philippe Lexina. All these people uh, are uh, suffering from this uh, virus. Please keep them uh, in our prayers as we offer this Holy Eucharist. And also let us pray for Merlin Aranko and Richard Madej. And also we today remember one of our friends who have passed away, Amy Memina. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who, pleased bef who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleansed from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living and be made full, be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now let us listen to the readings. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him. My covenant with you is this. You are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram. Your name shall be Abraham, for I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan, as a permanent possession and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, on your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. 
Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets. Yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who died, or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself to be? Jesus answered, if I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say, He is our God. You, you do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know him and keep his word. Abraham, your father rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I said to you, Before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw him. But Jesus hid and went out to the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, good morning to you all and a few words of reflection about today's Gospel and the readings. The Jews and Jesus they are engaging in a heated argument. They are, both of them are talking about one particular thing, that is about death. But still, it, it differs from both of them. Jesus is talking about the everlasting death, but the Jews is talking about the death that normally when we all die. But Jesus speaks about us today to be careful about the everlasting death. Saint Francis of Assisi always used to say, be afraid of not the death that you die from earth, but be careful about the second death. The second death is the everlasting death that we will not never be have a chance anymore. So today, as we continue our Lenten journey, 
It's a, it's a topic that we should think about, death. Our death is not the end if we truly follow the words of Jesus Christ, if we keep his commandment, if we truly follow him, death is not the end. But if you reject him, disobey his commandments, and, and, and break the, the commandment of love, uh, we end up in that second death where we'll, where we'll never have another opportunity. So this is our time to examine ourselves, ask for God's mercy and forgiveness and grace to do better and live a life uh, that is worthy of heaven and uh, everlasting life, not an everlasting death. And ask our Blessed Mother to help us out and let us together pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thy among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed so be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, bring us to the dignity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Oh, with the humble spirit and contrite heart, we may be accepted by you, O Lord, and may the sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the Holy Church. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these sacrificial offerings, uh, that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and lift up your hearts. Lift up your and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us to imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, and as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the blood of life and the chalice of salvation, give up, giving us, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, James our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Sebastian Navarro and Maria Luis de Lang. And also we pray for the soul of Amy Memina. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now let us together pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be it for us protection in mind and body, and a healing remedy. Behold, the Lamb of God, Behold Jesus Christ who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to eternal life. Amen. Amen. As we cannot receive the Holy Communion, let us do an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, O Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in this present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Bow down for God's blessing. May the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, that he may defend you, within you, that he may sustain you, before you, that he may lead you, behind you, that he may protect you, above you, that he may bless you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth 
that the Mass is ended. And all of you have a wonderful day. Please again stay well and continue to pray. Take every opportunity to uh, pray and connect it to God and uh, check on other people who are in need of your help. God bless you all.